everybody, and welcome to another episode of Nerd Age, where we discuss everything nerdy. My name is Mick, and with me, as always, are my co-host Josh. What's up, Corey? Yellow and Jonah. Hey, everybody. What's going on, guys? Uh, how's your week been? Pretty good. Mm-hmm. I lost my voice, so I'm a little. Are you sick, or you just lost your voice? Mm, so I started coaching soccer, so I've been screaming. Oh. Um, all this week, and then I played a Wednesday. I played at pools on the South Hill, so a I show. played, sang for three hours, and then yesterday I sang for four hours Damn. at Walters, and then sang this morning at church. So my voice is—I don't think I've ever heard you yell, like scream at people. Oh, I what? I, I I'm I'm loud. Really? Yeah, I tried not to yell at soccer because I was like, oh, I got to save my voice, but you can't not yell. It's Those just kind of darn girls don't listen. That's right. You just gotta <laughs> you gotta yell at them. Intensity. Yeah, I helped my dad lay a part of a floor down. Mm, so nice. yeah, that was fun. Laminated slats. <laughs> nice. <laughs> so were they like snap in or? Yeah, it's like the click yeah, in nice. system. At your nice. house? Nice, nice, nice. Yeah, my parents' basement. Nice. Oh, you tore the carpet out? Yeah, it's coming out. Oh dang! Yeah. Doing that whole floor down there. Choop did that at his house. Yeah, I did it in our basement. Yeah, we don't. <laughs> I was going to start asking specifics about your basement, <laughs> but, you know. What are the dimensions? Well, no, no, no. I was going to say there's a lot of t- I mean, tight corners turns? in your yeah, basement. That's yeah, going to be annoying. A, there's a lot of, like, uh, skill like, saw and table yeah, saw cuts that we have to do. Yeah, glad I'm not helping with that. Yeah. I, I hey, hate, Jonah, do you want to nope. come on? I'll... Sorry, Randy. <laughs> do it yourself. Yeah. I hate cutting stuff, so Jonah helped me out this. Really? I was doing... Uh, I think that's fun. Removing siding and then putting up new siding, so... What type... Did you have, like, the... Thick concrete style siding. No, it's just wood siding. Okay. Like that's better. Yeah, so it wasn't super heavy, but it's still yeah. annoying. And then cutting around outlets and measuring lines. windows. Oh, dude, yeah. I Messing hate it. up doing it again. I, also, I end up measuring like yeah. ten times, yep, and I same. still get it wrong. Yeah, yeah. it's when, so bad. When I did I'm not a man. I was. Like, I'm not a man. <laughs> Primarily doing siding, so I've, I'm so dumb. Why well, wouldn't should have come and help me out, you jerk? Should have. Asked. And then also, I put down the. Whenever I work on a project, I'm super pissed off, like instantly, like everything just bothers me. That's mm. why I don't do any projects around the house. Yeah, because <laughs> I don't want to get angry. That's what I should you do. Know? I'm yeah. a lover, not a fighter. But yeah, I, I had a, a skill saw and I finished my cut and set it down, and I just felt something get caught on it, and I was like, "What was that?" Luckily, it wasn't a finger, but I. I cut the wire on the skills. The extension cord. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no. So I was that like, oh, well, that's cool. Bummer. That's why I'm like not overly enthused about getting a house one day. I think it's time for uh, some news. Yes. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I said, uh, yep, yep. <laughs> 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 Sorry. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Sound like Kramer. Uh, am I starting yep. with my stuff? Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. <laughs> yep. And here was some news for the, for the video game news for this week. <clears throat> Basically, we had Gamescom happen. Um, they didn't do it in person, but they did like a virtual version of it. Um, and so they went through a lot of different game updates and stuff like that. And I'm not going to go through all of them because a lot of them, frankly, were like DLCs and like expansions and stuff like that of existing games. I'm just going to go over kind of the new stuff that they they went over. Um, one of them being their new Marvel game, which is called Marvel's Midnight Suns, um, which is interesting because it's from the makers of XCOM, which is a really like really good game. It's like more of like a top down like real time strategy, it's um, like turn based, right? Turn based strategy, yes. Um, but <clears throat> this game is totally different. Um, it's definitely like action. It's more like, you know, like you remember like the, it's just more of an action combat Kind of like the Marvel, uh, what were those called? The Marvel versus Capcom. Ultimate Alliance. Is that what those are called? Marvel. Mm, was that third person? It was like the above view. It's still like third person behind the character. Oh, okay. Hmm. And so the most interesting thing about this announcement was that they had Wolverine, they had Iron Man. They had a Blade. Is Doctor Strange there too? I, yes. I think so, yes. Yes, I did see it in the video. Um, <clears throat> and so they're introducing, like what I saw from that is they were, they were doing a big like emphasis on like, these characters can be totally different. Like they're going to be different Spider-Mans. And so they're, they're really leaning into this like multiverse. Mm-hmm. And so they're just, they're doing whatever they can to get more like IPs into one game. Like really, they're just trying to do what they can. So it looks cool. Uh, the <coughs> Wolverine suit looks really dope. Um, uh, a lot of their suits look really cool. And so if you want to see anything about that, uh, check it out. Um, they're slated for, 
uh, March next year. So that'll be cool. Um, Halo finally is coming out with their latest game, Infinite, and that's coming out in December. Um, what is this, like the sixth game? Sixth, yeah, fifth, it's the sixth, right? Yeah, it's the sixth game. Crazy. Halo's had a ton yeah. of games. There's a lot of games. Yeah, because there's Halo, Halo Five. I remember Halo Five <coughs> being a thing. It was just called Halo Five, and so either this is sixth or seventh. Like there was ODST, uh, Reach. Yeah, uh, if you want to count Halo I Wars, know. then sure. Halo Wars. <laughs> I don't know about that, yeah, but yeah, there's yeah, there's a lot of a lot of Halo. Games. So Halo is interesting <laughs> because um, they were really slated for this year, <laughs> and they really pushed the game back a whole year and a little bit of change. Um, I think they saw that they weren't ready, and I think that they needed to work on things a lot more to make it slated even for last year. You mean? It was slated for this year. It's now slated for next year. So, oh, okay. So, like, okay. it was, they were going to release it early this year. Right, right. It was going to be, like, somewhere at the end of last year, early this year. Right. And I remember because we were working with them for something, um, and they were like, yeah, it's coming out. And then, nope, they pushed it back. And then, well, yeah, that trailer that they released just got torn apart with, you know, people complaining about the visuals and like screen tearing. Yeah, it's really funny. Yeah. Well, there's. It wasn't even shown on an Xbox, it was on a PC, I think. Yeah. They're in for it because I feel like Halo fans are older <laughs> and they're also a lot more picky. <laughs> yeah. So compared to, uh, Back in the day when we were happy with Halo 2 because it was just new and right. it was fun and it was one of the first online versus games. Um, now it's like pff, they got to really <laughs> traverse the minefield of uh, yeah. Halo fanboys. Yep. So we'll see. It looks cool, um, I think. Um, if you really do like the Halo type game, that's something that's going to be exciting. A minefield of babies. Like, like, <laughs> like, like babies. Grown, like, like grown man, man babies. babies. Yes. Yeah, true. Exactly. That's actually one of the bonus maps for them. <laughs> <laughs> um, another one that came out, something, what was it called? It was, oh, right, Lego Star Wars, the Skywalker Saga. So that was pushed back, and then now it's coming out uh, next year in the spring. So, I mean, it looks cool. cool. It's also been delayed a ton. Yeah, it's been delayed forever. It was <laughs> like supposed to over, come out. Over a year, right? Yeah, over a year. Yeah. I think but there's a... A guy at our church, um, Evan Rohde, shout out. Bah, 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 bah. Um, he plays electric guitar on, on the worship team. Mm. But he had the record for speed run for Lego Star Wars. Oh, which one? Um, I don't know. It like just the original one? It just I don't know which game it is. Um, but it just got beat um nice. by somebody, and so now he's trying to get back to get his Good. record again. How is it? Which is absolutely crazy. Yeah. Literally, literally there's speed runs for almost every game you could think of. Yeah. Because they um, now depending on like how popular it is, could could mean a big world of difference. Like if you're yeah. playing like bubble bobble and you're trying to set the world record versus like Ocarina of Time. Yeah, those Ocarina are of nuts. Time is way more competitive. Yeah. Yeah. So well, I would be he, interested to see he the had, Um I can't remember I was talk I was talking to him about it because it was like Probably about two months ago that what they beat the, they beat his record, mm. um, but he's like, yeah, they they found a, another glitch in it sure. that would take uh, off like sucks. two seconds or something, um, and so oh, he's so like, he's doing any percent basically, and, or do you know if he was doing you have to unlock hundred percent? I don't know. I just know that he had the he's, record for the fastest finish. Like, yeah, they're probably going beginning to if he's if he's doing a glitch, then he's probably just doing clear just, the game as fast just as possible. End game. And so, so that's any percent, basically. I'll have to talk on. to him. All. Ask him. Just say these things to him, and he'll be like, "What?" He'll be like, "Is uh, is it glitchless or any percent?" <laughs> say those things, okay. and he'll I'll be probably like, forget to say that. But <laughs> well, just watch our or listen yeah, to our podcast. Listen to he I listens. Know you do every... So if you're listening, Evan, Frick. let us know so he'll know. Uh, I had a question with the Lego games. Do you guys mm. prefer like the original Lego games where there wasn't any dialogue, or like? kind of halfway through where they started doing like actual lines from the movies mm. or it looks like this new Lego Star Wars game is like kind of new voice acting. Um, yeah. Most other Lego games, they do their own voice acting. They for, do. Okay. Yeah. So I'm guessing that's the angle they're going. Which way do you guys prefer? I don't really care. Actually. I, I enjoy both ways. I prefer voice acting. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, like kind of recreating the stuff. Yeah, I mean, I don't care if they don't sound. I like, love voice acting. Yeah. yeah, but that's that's probably one of my things with even Zelda games. Like, 
I prefer... They don't do voice acting. They don't do voice acting. <laughs> Although Breath of the Wild did, Breath right? Breath of the Wild did. But, um, little, yeah. but Link didn't talk. Oh, yeah. Um, so I prefer more, like, voice acting. Yeah. So yeah. I think they should continue that with Breath of the Wild 2 and all that stuff. They will. I guarantee it. I've got a little birdie who works at Nintendo. Maybe I'm just lazy and I don't like reading as much. But I want. I'd, I'd rather have the voice acting, like... I feel it. It helps more the storytelling better when you sure. can get involved with like characters' voices, and it mm-hmm. kind of enriches the story and the experience. So, nothing against reading, but I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I think it's lazy of you. Yeah, it is it's lazy. I, mean, I don't do house projects, and I don't <laughs> like reading. So, <laughs> I don't like reading. <laughs> um, other than that, uh, Far, Far Cry Six. They did announce that earlier this year, um, but they did a story trailer um, that kind of revealed what was going on. It's kind of standard. Oh, this guy is trying to rule this area, and you know, kind of like. Is it like the Suicide Squad? <laughs> Yeah, kind of. <laughs> but there's no starfish at the end. Oh, bummer. Well, actually, I don't know. I haven't played the game yet. Could be. Yeah. But yeah, um, a lot of people like Far Cry, and so I think a lot of people are looking forward to this. Um, if you're into <coughs> story games and single-player story games, that's a really it could be a really fun one because um, the bad guy is, is what's his name? Giancarlo Esposito. And yes, 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 yes. So he's a super good actor. Yeah. I will say when I watched the trailer... Um, it bugged me because his lips weren't matching what he was saying at all. And I was like, this is bad. And compared to the very initial trailer they did, it looked beautiful, matched up perfectly, super good. But this story trailer, I was like, eh, I'm getting a little lazy. It's interesting how, like, even if it's off by just a fraction, it's instantly, like, noticeable. Yeah. this one Like the old Jackie Chan movies. movies. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> They like say stuff and then they keep moving their lips. Yeah. Like, what are you doing? No, 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 no. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, that would be cool. Far Cry Six. Um, they had a lot of just updates on games. Um, um, one of the coolest like original IP announcements was Age of Empires Four. After <laughs> 10, 15 years of not doing anything, they've only done four Age of Empires. They've done three. This will be the fourth. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. I thought there was more than that. We've done that. No. They've done, like, they've done there's Age of Mythology. Oh, uh, okay. That's true. Yeah, yeah, stuff like that. And they've done expansions off of the base games. Dulome. Which <laughs> I know a lot of people are actually probably really excited about this because RTSs, real-time strategies, aren't being made right now. So yeah, thanks, Blizzard. <laughs> <laughs> it's a dead game. But, yeah, that'd be cool if Age of Empires did well. That'd be sweet because that's an old genre that needs help. Um but yeah, did you guys ever play Age of Empires when you were kids? Yeah. Um, I did not. My brother really? is like really into those. Like he loves all the Age of Empires, the uh what was the Middle Earth one? Um oh shoot. Yeah, I Warcraft. I <laughs> yeah, whatever that one was called, he he got really into those. Yeah, we used to play Age of Empires and then Civilization. Yeah. Um yeah. obviously the Warcraft and StarCraft games and I also played, what was the other one? Red Alert? Oh, yeah. Red Alert. yeah. I remember playing Red Command Alert. Command and Conquer. Command and Conquer. Command and Conquer, Conquer yeah. that's right. That, Dude, I remember playing that Dude, those, Mexico. those, um, when, when you're playing, like, you're used to playing Blizzard, like, Warcraft, Starcraft, and then the Command and Conquer games were kind of around at the same time, mm-hmm. but they had the really bad... Actors. Like actors. Yeah. Doing like the, the live action. Yes. Yeah. It was so bad. It was so oh, funny. It was super Like cheesy. what was it? Yuri's Revenge was one of the oh ones. Oh gosh. And uh they just had like the president, you know, and he's ah, it's just we used to make fun of it all the time. We're laughing at you, Red. <laughs> Dude, if you want to find, yeah, really cringy, just terrible acting, look up the cutscenes for the old Command and Conquer games. Yeah. Because they are laughable for sure. I remember that Yuri's Revenge. Dang, I remember that. Uh, but yeah, other than that, um, not too much came out of Gamescom. I think that COVID's kind of just... Is it Gamescom or Gamescon? Gamescom. Pam. Pan. 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 Pam. <laughs> it's like communication. Com? Okay. It's like games communication. But yeah. Okay. I, I know, right? It's a con, though. So <laughs> I know. It's a little yeah. confusing. 
Yeah. I kept hearing the M and I was like, man, I always thought it was Gamescom. Yeah. 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 The only thing that I saw from Gamescom that I was interested in was they finally announced uh, that um, Horizon Zero Dawn, oh. the sequel, comes out in February. Yeah. yeah. That's a lot sooner so, than I thought it would Yeah. Because so, they did push it back. So, yeah. So that'll be cool. Um, yeah. They're funny. They're like, yeah, you know, you're going to be able to play this version of the game next year. And they're like, but until you wait, the original game is going to be 60 FPS, guys. Yeah. And we're doing an update. It's like, okay. <laughs> wow, 60. Woo. And then you see, like, people watching on Twitch being like, wow, Omega lol. And, like, <laughs> saying all this stupid stuff like, 60 frames per second. Wow. Or everyone puts the <laughs> F. just laughing. You know what F means? No, I don't. But I, every time we I see something. Over, we we I know, but I don't before. remember. <laughs> well, listen to us. I'm going to stop talking to you if you don't it listen means to us. fail. No? no, it's like it disconnected. It's like if the stream went down, people would say F. Anyway, like EF or the letter F. It's just, F. It's just the letter it's just F, the letter and F. It, everyone starts doing it. Oh, yeah. Anyway, you know all these crazy gamers. It's yeah. Internet, internet culture. <laughs> Anything else you saw? Or is that it? Was the, there? Uh, there was. They had already announced this game, but I'm actually kind of excited oh, for it. It's the a jet. No, no, no. Okay, I was going to say something about Jet, but go ahead. Jet the, Pack Joy the Ninja Turtles game, Shredder's <laughs> oh, Revenge. Yeah. Oh, it's yeah. like an old school arcade. It's like old school. Oh, nice. Beat em up. Yeah. Oh, like and, side view. Yep. Nice. And yeah. so yeah. You, they just announced so they, that April O'Neil is going to be a playable do you, character. So. Do you know, um, this has man. nothing to do with... And why are you talking about it? Um, Shredder's Revenge. <laughs> oh. But we used to play a game. So it, it was, was the King arcade, Arthur. the King Arthur game. Yeah. It was an arcade game, and you could pick, like, Lancelot, King Arthur, and you would start out, and you had, like, just regular clothes on, and as you start killing people... Like, gear up. Um, you would gear up. Nice. Like, there was that game, and then the X-Men arcade game. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like, I'd love to have those games on the Switch somehow, some way. I don't know. Those are super fun games. I remember playing the, the X-Men beat em up arcade game so much. That was so fun. I want to beat that game. <laughs> That's the thing. Like, I only play at arcades. That's it. Yeah. So I never got to beat it because I didn't, wasn't going to plug in $20 or whatever to beat it. Like, no way. You, you or the Ninja Turtles it. game that we could never beat that you'd... Oh, The yeah. second level was you'd go into the dam and you have to do the bombs. The water area, yeah. yeah. We should just beat that. We should just commit our lives to it for <laughs> we a should. night and just get super good at it. It's really hard. Dude, nowadays, now that I'm just an epic gamer, I'm just an evolved human... Like, I could beat it probably without my eyes open. I don't Maybe. know that. Games were harder back then. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they are. Yeah, it's No all, checkpoints. Those games are all about memorization, and that yeah. was the biggest detriment to that game. You no checkpoints, yeah. You couldn't have a checkpoint, and you had to start over, so you had to play yep. perfect. Well, and then you had you could pick your different um, turtles, but then they would retain the life. So, like, if you played one level, you could, you're like, oh, I'm he's about to die, so you'd switch the turtle, but then... You would get your life back by eating pizza, mm. but you'd have to switch your turtle that had zero life or like one square to eat the pizza. Yeah. Uh-huh. Or else their life wouldn't come back. Yeah. So then you'd end up like the, yeah. me- the mechanics kind of like Brutal. Mega Man as well, where you'd have to switch to the different <coughs> forms of him, like the different versions, yeah. and you could regenerate the energy. Yeah. But yeah, that game was tough. But yeah, I bet I could beat it nowadays. We I just played we used it like a couple years ago. I can't remember where. Really? Where but we pa- I passed that level. I mean, it's on standard NES. I, I passed the level, the water level, and I got to the next area, and it's like you're in a the truck, truck. Yeah. and you're going around to the yeah, buildings, and then though you always die in those buildings. You fight the rhino guy and the pig dude. Yeah. But then I would. <laughs> well, you, by then you're, you're, all your guys are whittled down. Yeah, and, and then you're running. You out get of into help. the. You go into the the building. Dude. And you take out all the dudes, right? And then if you leave that building and then you end up going back in that building, all the enemies respawn. Yeah. But the pizza doesn't. It's true. It's, it's the a, worst. It's a sick joke. The it's developers, terrible. man, they're out to get you. I know. Anyways. Games just weren't the same. They're just not the same like they used to be. Or Wings. Do you remember Wings? Wing was also really hard. Yeah. Wings is like a Galaga game. Top down. Do, 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 do. Arcade. Mm-hmm. That one that was, was fun. Super hard. And you'd go like into we the devil. We got really close to beating and the that. The guts were going did, around. Did we beat that? No, we didn't. We got really close though, because we were. I mean, it's hard. Yeah, it's tough. But that those were the old school games back in the day. They were really hard <laughs> to beat. You don't understand, new, you don't understand Mick. 
No, it's it's huge. I think that a lot of people our age uh, highly identify with that because that's the games we were playing. Uh, have you ever seen listeners? I mean, by Hunter. I don't know how I saw this, but it was like a it was like a TikTok video of some girl that was going and playing like the Lion King game from the SNES. (laughs) Yeah, and she's like playing and she like falls off and it's like game over. She's like, (laughs) what? Like that's it? I'm dead. (laughs) Like she's like freaking out. I don't like, just respawn. It's like literally. <laughs> yeah, you have to start the whole thing. You have over. to start from the very beginning. She's yeah, like, it's all pissed off about it. And like, yeah, that's literally all the games. Yeah. Before. Yeah, I didn't get too much into uh, arcade games, but I played a couple. I played like, you know, your Time Crisis, two or whatever. Uh, that uh, shooting game. Yeah. Yeah, which three, is a lot of three dimensional. Yeah, it's like a rail shooter. Yeah. Um, of course, that Star Wars arcade game where you go through, like, you play the trench run. You can play, like, uh, stuff from, uh, like... Was that a shooting game as well? Part of it was. So you okay. could play, like... Was it, like, flying and shooting? or what? You could it? do, like, an X-Wing. You could do, um, okay. like, the Hoth battle. Nice. Um, you have to go around the... Right, you have to go around the ATATs. I never played that. Um, but then, like, there's like a final level where you're Luke and you're uh, dueling Darth Vader. Oh, that's and cool. Return of the Jedi. Nice. Style, so, yeah, yeah, that's, that's pretty cool. Fun. I wish there were more Star Wars arcade games back in the day. Yeah, but they just, they really didn't come into huge popularity until later. That's crazy. Like nowadays, you can play like, like freaking. Yeah, you can be in an X-Wing. Like, I've seen arcade games that are full, like, full dive. Like, Mm -hmm. you're in a (laughs) cockpit and you're flying an X-Wing and doing all those battles. Yeah. It's pretty sick. And and some of those VR games are super sick, too. And they're they're really impressive. Um, I, you know, it's just, I'd probably throw up if I played VR. But, but imagine, like, if you had that when you were a kid, though, you wouldn't have thrown up. It would have been sick. But, oh, um, but yeah, just another thing. Um, so this next weekend, just a heads up to you guys. I'm going to PAX. Oh, yes, you are. So I'm actually going to be gone next weekend. Do we have, um, do we have a booth there? <laughs> do we? <laughs> <laughs> Just set up like cloud, a little, cloud a little doing table. There? Are we doing anything there? No one's doing it. <laughs> 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 Typically, well, yeah, we'd have an activation. Prep. Hey, why don't we have you call in? Call in. All right, on the, on the ground. Hey, guys, I'm on the show floor of PAX. Hey, Corey, what's going on over there? Yeah. <laughs> what are you seeing? <laughs> what's yeah. the crowd like? The this PAX is going to be smaller than typical years because sure. of obvious reasons. So it's uh, not going to be paxed. Give me a give, give it a sad, can, sad can trombone, please. Can you give me something? Oh, oh no! Yeah. That's supposed yeah. to be a bump, bump, bump. Yeah, like uh, we got to get see. We got to get those sounds in there. Yeah. <laughs> I, I saw the opportunity. and I went for it. King of corn. What can I say? I saw the opportunity and decided to pass on it. Oh. Pax on it. <laughs> I should have passed on that one too. No, 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 no. <laughs> But yeah, so nice. I'll be yeah I'll be gone next weekend until uh, probably I'll be here back Monday. But cool. yeah, it'll be Friday, Saturday, Sunday of PAX. Um, should be a lot of fun panels and a lot of um, new board games to play and and some video games. Uh, you know, everywhere. What so, uh what panels are you going to? No idea. Huh? You don't I, have to sign up for anything. You ahead of time do, or? but I don't really do that. I, I, I'm more about You're sneaking. I'm more about, I don't do a lot of panels, um, yeah. unless I know that people are going there. Like, like if I have like a three select, like people or groups of people, if they do panels, I would go to, but I'm not a huge panel guy. Um, but, uh, it, it goes to the, he goes to the free stuff. I love who's going to offer him lanyards. Who's going to offer him keychains? Who's going to offer him some t-shirts? I'm going for the swag. That's what he's doing. No, I go for like board games that look interesting or indie games that look interesting because mm-hmm. those are super fun. Typically, if you're like at the board game booths, you're like, oh, this is a cool game. And like you start like looking at it and a guy comes up. He's like, I made this game. Let me show you how to play it. And we're like, what? That's so cool. And, you know, that person will play with us or like just teach us and then we'll play and. Um, and the game sucks and you feel really awkward because <laughs> you're like, man, well, no, this is not dude, very a funny. Just go, a, funny <laughs> a funny thing is, is that. <laughs> Your, it's like your attitude towards a game is heightened by at least like two points. Yeah. When someone's there and they're so excited about it and you're like, okay, that sounds awesome. Like conceptually, <laughs> most games sound really fun and awesome. Sure, yeah. But then when you play it, you're like, eh, okay, I can see where this gets old after like five tries. He's you like, know? where are you going? We still have three hours. <laughs> Game's not over yet. Yeah. 
But um, cool. yeah, so we'll see how that goes. I'm super pumped for something to do. Yeah. Uh, yeah, you'll have nice. to let us know uh, cool things you see there. I will report back to you guys. We'll have to do a later podcast probably, probably Monday, but yeah. um, that'll be super fun. Yeah. Sweet. Looking forward to it. Cool. Well, yeah, I think that's uh, everything in that's the, it for the news. Games. Oh, you wanted to do oh, the. Yeah. Um, well, you were doing the <laughs> Nick. You were doing the Batman Josh stuff in the news. Oh yeah, yeah. CinemaCon but, stuff. Yeah, yeah we're, CinemaCon. Not, we're not done with news yet. Yeah, so uh, the CinemaCon uh, just took place over the last weekend, and one of the things they showed there—it's like a—if you don't know—it's like a closed door thing for like special people. It's literally for cinema owners so that they can say, right, hey, this we're is what's coming. Sh- these are all the movies that are coming out that are going to make you a billion dollars. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. get excited. Yeah. So yeah. it's all the studios go and they have like... So it's really not a con. It's more of like a sales pitch. Pretty Bas- much. Basically. Yeah. They just show it's like... It's like a um, summit, basically. Yeah, it's they're just showing all, literally all the theater owners what they're in for. Interesting. Yeah. Um, so yeah, one of the movies that they showed there was uh, a cut of the Batman movie. That's uh, cool. Matt Reeves. Um, and of course, somebody <coughs> broke their uh, NDA, NDA <laughs> like they always do. Um, and I guess a prolific guy on Twitter who's followed a lot of Matt Reeves stuff and that has posted a lot of credible Batman movie news before. Um, he had a friend that uh, was in the screening, so... He knew someone who knew someone. Okay. Typical thing. So I'll take uh, this with his, a grain of salt. Take this with a grain of salt because, you know, we don't know for sure. But the uh, Twitter user is Blu-ray Angel, if you're curious. Um, he said that they uh, tweeted, they showed me proof, and you'll have to trust me on that. I would never lie to anyone. <laughs> Shut up. I respect it. <laughs> Whatever. Uh, you, you better know, take my word I respect you all too much. Uh, okay. You know, that typical stuff. Um, but then he tweeted... Um, a quote from his friend that, again, this isn't really spoiler, um, just kind of a heads up on what the movie will be like. He said, the Batman movie is a horror movie, very graphic, very dark, very scary. Uh, Paul Dano is a, is effing crazy, so effing crazy. I loved every second. So, uh, yeah, the stuff that we've heard from it, it's it's going to be a dark Batman movie, very horror movie, very horror movie style. What um, the frick? In terms of, uh, I mean, if you've read like the Long Halloween or yeah. um, even some elements uh, elements from uh, Batman Year One, um, which a lot of the uh, movie is taking inspiration from, um, a lot of that is really dark yeah. stuff. Well, and it makes it it fits with what we've known. Like even what Matt Reeves has said, what other actors have said, that it's dark and that it's a kind of a different take on Batman. It's more like yep. grounded, but um, even the Riddler is more about... There's been people that had... Some people made he's the analogy... more real and Some people cartoony. made the but analogy that he's action. more like Jigsaw from Saw. Right. Where like he like puts people in, puts these, people in these situations scenarios. where the riddles are like you cut killing off your people. Own foot. Yeah. And get out of the chains. Well, <laughs> and if you look at the first trailer, um, I mean, the fact that he has the duct tape around the guy and he suffocates him like yeah, that. It looks dark. That right? stuff is like dark. Yeah. And so it fits. And I'm excited for it. Um, I read another tweet where they said that Batman does a lot of killing in it. So they're like the people that are upset of the Batman doesn't kill, um, that this is going to be another one of those movies that, you know, but. Batman's Michael Keaton's Batman killed people all the time. Every movie Batman yes. has every killed. Batman kills, yes. whether it's intentional or not, though. Yeah. And I've heard I've heard good arguments for both ways, where oh, Batman should never kill, or Batman kills every once in a while. It just it yeah. comes down to personal preference at that point. For me, I don't really care as long as it's not like, you know, super graphic. Well, and or and and that's like. the thing, kind of let. Whoever's creating that universe, so like, if it fits with what they're the universe they're making, then just accept that. Like, yeah, if if the animated series Batman, you know, that it was really clear that he would never kill, right? That fits with the animated series and what they were doing. And so, as long as they're consistent with that, if it's the other way, where, um, like in this version, it's a new Batman and he's just getting around to the fact that. 
Maybe he hasn't developed that rule yet that he doesn't kill. Sure. Maybe this is how it happens, you know? Mm-hmm. Um, like, you just accept it. Like, l- let the creators that are making this movie decide what the storyline is going right. to be. You don't and need to complain about, oh, it's, that's not my Batman. Yeah. It's like it, and maybe mm. watch the movie first before you, mm. like, make a... Well, for yeah. sure that, you know. 100%. But I, I get the idea of being like, well, that's not my Batman. Because yeah, it's but, like, you, it's, a, it's a character pillar of his in previous iterations of Batman. And for people, I understand that they would have an issue with it. And if you like Batman that kills people, then you don't understand the character. <laughs> well, it's, it's you know, it's you a character. You be a fan of the Punisher then. <laughs> Might as well. Might True. As well. <laughs> no, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. It, I mean, it is like, it's a core component of his character in the animated series. And it's very clear in that one. They make a very big point of it. Yeah. But I, I think, so... I'm going based on like. Well, I'm saying that I know it's understandable that other people would have issues with it. That's all I'm saying. Right, but what I'm saying is the people that. But what I'm get saying that <laughs> the people that get that, like for example, I'm gonna. You guys no, are gonna no, hate no, no, me. No, 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 no. Okay, this is what? the problem. Go ahead. This Go is ahead. the problem. You're taking people's attack on Zack Snyder's no. vision of it, no. and that's Gosh. what bothers you because you're, you're like, not. well, they were pissed off about Zack Snyder's no, what Batman I'm saying killing is, people, but they're not going to say anything about Robert Pattinson. No, I'm not saying that. What I'm saying <laughs> is... What, what are you going to say? the connection. Uh, what I'm saying is there's a whole... Like, Batman doesn't kill, period. So if uh, there's any killing of a bat- Batman, any killing, like Michael Keaton's Batman, he doesn't have a problem killing people. Like, in the movies... And so for me, there's people that like will make videos of being like, what's the kill count? How many people did Batman kill? Oh, they're dead. That to me is like, yeah, but you're mm. missing the whole point of the character. Like they're telling a story. Zack Snyder's Batman specifically, there's a reason why he's brutal and it fits with the storytelling. Goes back to Dick Grayson being killed by the Joker and him becoming cruel. Like that informs the character and so there's a reason for the way he's so brutal so that to me is like when you're then argument is not looking at that and just saying my batman doesn't kill people so that that batman sucks i think that's kind of you're not understanding or being willing to kind of analyze it does that make sense that's where i think there's a difference is like if your preference is the animated series he doesn't kill but there's that's reasons fine. for but it. But when you dismiss a character just because Batman shouldn't oh, kill, sure. but you're not looking at, well, there's a reason he does. There's an actual reason why Ben Affleck and BVS is so brutal. And it goes with storytelling and character development. And you're not willing to look at that and just say, Batman shouldn't kill. That to me is like, eh, kind of look at the explanation. Because you're. it's the same thing with his Pattinson. There's probably a reason that he's so brutal and violent. Yeah, we'll see. And so I'm just hoping people will give it a chance if instead have, of just yeah. dismissing it. If they it. have a justification, then I'm all for yes. it. Well, it's not Zack Snyder, so they'll be okay with it. <laughs> <laughs> Good point. Yeah, everyone's out to And then him. that's going to make Jonah mad. And he's going to be like, oh, I actually don't like this Batman. <laughs> no, <laughs> I, I'm, I'm really... I'm really, oh my I'm gosh, really you're so right, dude. Here's the difference. <laughs> oh my gosh. No, here's the difference. Real. I'm really Super excited real. about this movie because I think the director's <laughs> awesome. So for me, and uh, you guys all know, I've been excited for Pattinson being Batman, I think he's been a good choice. Where most people are like, the guy from Twilight, where I think he's going to be a really good Batman. So for me, I'm really excited. I think I'm going to love this movie. Because Matt Reeves <coughs> has done some of my favorite movies. The Planet of the Apes um, movies are awesome. Hmm. I don't like horror movies, dude. Why are we putting Batman in a I horror don't think, movie? What's wrong eh, with people, dude? Yeah, and I, I wonder that, if they mean more of like, it's more like a suspense yes. type of... Okay. I think it'll be more like... Uh, did you guys see Seven? The David That's Hunter what they film. said. It's kind of. Uh, I think it'll be more in line with that, where there is some like horror elements, but it won't be like, you know, the conjuring or you know. It's I, gonna I be can't imagine it'll be like to me. that. I don't like that. But it's I like, mean, if you look at why Batman, would I want not it to my be Batman. Horrific. If, if you look, like, if you oh, look at, I don't uh, want to like scream and piss my pants. Like, what is going on? I'm if, watching Batman. Well, I I don't like horror movies either. But if you look at stuff like, uh, I thought you did. Or no, I thought you, you did. did. No. You did. I don't like Jonah it. likes it. I don't like it. He doesn't like it, but he watches it. Wasn't it Jonah who went through that stint yeah, where he was watching scary movies? He watched movies? all the demonic movies. I watched the Conjuring movies. You're yeah. a little freak. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but if you look at uh, Batman Begins, there are some like scary images in there or certain scenes that are a little... It's not horrific. Well, uh, I not think... Horrific. But I think like that's horrific. more that's more the style that, that I could imagine... We'll see. Them I think it's gonna be. We'll a, I think it's gonna be darker than that. I think it's gonna be. Gonna that, be yeah. um, well, do you think? Not okay. that this movie is like, but you know, like you're dealing with 
you're obviously dealing with a serial killer. So this is more like the bone collector, more of like that kind of movie, like you said, Seven, where it's like dealing with a serial killer um, and Batman is a detective. Like it's basically, what's that movie that came out with um, Jared Leto, Denzel Washington that we just watched Uh, about something things um small things the little the little things yeah um so that All like the small <laughs> that's about uh, that's about a serial killer and Denzel Washington is trying to catch him yeah i think that's what this is going to go for it's going to yeah. be more of like cuz Matt Reeves has said this is more of the detective noir movie so it, i think it's going to deal with horror that kind of aspect like you're dealing with a guy that's murdering people and yeah. batman's going to the crime scenes and trying to figure out how the person was murdered how this happened, what it relates to. So I think it is going to be yeah, but darker. And like, <laughs> also remember who it came from. Some guy on Twitter that yeah. was like, hey, yeah, I promise I wouldn't me. lie to you guys. I respect you too much. <laughs> I would never lie to you guys on the internet. That's what I said. That's what I said. Take it with a grain of salt. I, would never, I respect you guys just too much. Along diamond. with that, <laughs> along with that, there's been rumors well, for the I, last three months that WB has said it's a really dark movie. And yeah, so fine. people have gone movie. out and said... Though they're reshooting because it's too dark. I don't think that's the case. Matt Reeves has full control of this movie. He has said from the beginning, this is going to be a dark movie. Yeah. And so I, I'm I saying there's a big difference between horror and just really dark. I think right? the one's horror, intentionally trying to give you nightmares at night and one's just trying to be like very gritty. I would say and dark. Forget about the horror. And the real. thing he's saying. That's just I think like so a, too. I think he's, he's trying to put it in a box and that's that you what he's would understand. To. Right. Yeah. I would say dark, gritty. You know th- what we thriller. love about a thriller. Yeah. thriller I would go more. Movie. I would go more with a thriller than a horror movie. I would just say super dark and gritty and real, and like that's that's all I need to know. Like if it's real, and like how would you deal with a freaking bad guy who's a serial killer? Like yeah, things are gonna get yeah. real dark, and especially if you're a vigilante, like you don't have to tend to all these laws and stuff like that. Like it's gonna get but see, real I think, dark. I think we're getting caught up on this, but <laughs> horror. Well, horror movie. I think. What you're thinking is Saw movies, right? But, for example, Split is a horror movie, but it's not, like, a violent blood and gore everywhere. But it's that feeling of people in danger, that kind of stuff. You're scary, dude. To, to me, the horror element, it can be so extreme to one level or the other, where I think Chup is right. The aspect of it's more going to be like a thriller detective Yeah movie we'll see not like the hills have eyes or the conjuring or we'll see. Uh, house of wax or you know those kind of things we'll see, man. <laughs> all these movies i've Chucky. seen what is wrong with um, you, man? <laughs> i don't like them i just <laughs> you just watch there's them? been situations okay well house of wax never mind Jeez. <laughs> i can i'll fill in the blank for you <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> in relationships I've been in the past, the people like those movies, and mm. you have to watch. It's like, had you to watch have Twilight? To? You have to. Yeah, that, yes. I, ain't never, I ain't never seen Twilight. Twilight's <laughs> never. pretty good. Never. It's not never. Bad. <laughs> Twilight's not bad. I'd rather watch bad. the Conjuring Twilight movies than Twilight. Is that a serious opinion? Bad. Twilight is right. bad. No, right. Mick, no. Right. That's not real. <laughs> this is going to get cut <laughs> for your sake. <laughs> He's on the record. I'm going on he record. Loves Stop dubbing things cut. He was I've the original <laughs> Robert Pattinson fan. That's right. That's right. Um, <laughs> so, well, anyway, that's info for yeah. the Batman movie. Um, next thing in news, this is another one that might be is did a potential it, it leak. Um, Blu-ray, Angel? Blu-ray Angel. No. Um, <laughs> oh there's gosh. a potential leak. DC Fandom is October 16th, so right around the corner. Um, the panel supposedly leaked of what they could be showing. Um, and so, so the just, schedule, the, the schedule panels. of what they're going to, yeah, what's going to be there. So apparently we're going to get the Shazam Fury of the Gods, um, yep. behind the scenes look and a teaser Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom, um, behind the scenes look and a teaser, the flash, um, entire cast will appear with character reveals, clues, a small behind the scenes clip should be played for fans, black Adam, um, First trailer is going to be released. The Batman Matt Reeves makes an appearance with several key cast members, um, and they show more of the movie. And then this was the kind of cool thing they talked about. There's three secret movie panels. Um, so m- movies uh, that... Okay, Black Canary, A Blue Beetle, and... 
I think these are movies, not HBO Max stuff. I was going to say. Because okay. um, they say, so if they th- see three secret three, movie panels. Three different movie panels. Yes. Three secret okay. movie panels. Okay. James Gunn's. Wait, hold on. Hold on. Let me finish this. <laughs> <laughs> um, they say Batgirl, Leslie Grace, and J.K. Simmons will appear for the behind the scenes stuff. Blue Beetle um, actor is going to do Zatanna. Um, and then HBO Max is on a different thing. It's, they're going to do the Peacemaker show. The Gotham City Police Department, Matt Reeves um, show, Green Lantern, um, Madame X, and Constantine. So those are all the HBO Max stuff, and then there's the three secret movie panels. So I think what you're saying is right. It's going to be probably James Gunn's doing another movie. Hey, he's doing a we'll, trilogy. We'll let, him and say then, we'll let him say it. You cut him off. Go ahead. Go ahead. No, that's all I was going to say. It's literally just going to be James Gunn and the three trilogies he's going to make. No, I think <laughs> one project, <laughs> three I think one no. project is going to be James Gunn. I think they're going to announce that Taika Waititi is doing a movie. You think so? I think so because there's been so. rumors about it and he's he was in Wars. the Suicide Squad. I don't know. Yeah, but... His next movie is Star Wars. Well, yeah, but you can do... they. James Gunn did Suicide Squad and is doing Guardians of the Galaxy. It's not like, and they announced Guardians of the Galaxy years ago, even before James Gunn started shooting Suicide Squad. So I just think that's a potential. Um, my Josh hope, Weir. my hope would be, obviously, pipe dream never happening. But that they announced Zack Snyder's <laughs> oh my gosh, doing what Justice if the League three two movies. Stop, are- <laughs> stop. <laughs> Justice League two. That would be for me. That would be awesome. Not going to happen. But what I am hoping is. I think they are going to announce that they're releasing the air cut. They're going to put the air cut on HBO Max. And I'm having a little hope that they're going to announce that Ben Affleck's going to do his Batman movie um, as one of the secret movies. That's my hope. Then they can do whatever they want to do with James Gunn or Taika Waititi or whatever. But if they do one of those two, at least that gives me hope that there could be some movement towards Snyder eventually coming back years from now. All right, guys. So tune in October 17th to see Jonah disappointed. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> oh, 100%. Probably. But I'm going to speak it like people say. I'm going to speak, speak it, it into, into the universe. Stupid. Um, nice. You have I to actually speak it, though. So right now you need to I say. I already did. Zack Snyder movie, whatever. Zack Snyder, Justice League 2, Ben Affleck. <laughs> Solo movie. Yeah, do it same three times in a row, actually. And, into uh, a mirror, I think. David Ayers. Ayers. Yeah, that's like something. <laughs> Suicide <it> Squad. <laughs> yeah, that'll be exciting to see yeah. what everything that they announce. That'll be cool. Yeah, yeah. yeah it'll be fun to see. Uh, I mean, uh, sure, I'd take I'll, I'll, I'll take I'll, an haircut. I'll be honest with you guys. Black Canary sounds not cool. I don't know what Black Canary is. Doesn't sound fun. Um, I mean, the characters, I like the character enough. I just, I wasn't that big of a fan of the Birds of Prey movie. Yeah. Um, so I'm not overly excited. About yeah. I think I mentioned it last week, great. like if they brought in more like Green Arrow yeah, stuff, because yeah, they're like be, involved in excited. the comics, um, I would be more excited, but it would be cool if they did. That'd be cool. Yeah. All right. So I'm not going to ask Jonah this because I already know his answer, oh. but for you two, <laughs> okay. if one of those movies was a Man of Steel 2 movie instead <sighs> of, what would oh. you guys prefer that? Instead of what? I mean, a Zack Snyder Justice I, League. Honestly, I would probably pick the man of steel 2 over justice league 2 um jonah stop shaking your head i didn't ask you this question <laughs> um wait so they're just doing a one right run, so if one of a those one single yeah it would just be a man of steel 2 and we get and that, castle same, back. Yeah. same everyone okay um that would be nice but what's the Zack Snyder thing? What's the deal? What do we get with Zack Snyder? Just I mean, it would, just, it would just—it would just be another, like one of his, I guess, whatever. It'd be the next. Two. It'd be the Shut next up. nightmare. You didn't scene. ask the questions, jo- Josh. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It would just be another. Just what they set up in yeah. the Snyder cut. Um, hmm, that's tough. Well, anyway, what I'm thinking is, I, it's I more think, likely that we'll get a Man of Steel yes. two over that. Oh, so for would sure. you guys be excited if? If First they announced all, Man of Steel 2, would you be like, oh, I would have rather been Justice I'd, League I'd two? rather like it be Jonah. Zack Snyder, but I know it's impossible, so it's not going to happen. So I'm very excited if it was be Man of Steel Here's 2. my concern. I would be really excited so from rude, Man of Steel 2, right? But my concern is that they're going to give it to James Gunn. They're going to give Man of Steel 2 to James Gunn or to Taika Waititi or someone like that mm. that's going to be not... It's not going to follow the original Man of Steel. Does that make sense? It's going to yeah. be kind of like the Ugh. Suicide I, Squad. That's I, would, I would hate that's that. That's like Man of Steel yeah, 2, nah. but hey, it's James Gunn. Well, they, that that to suck. me, that's and there's a rumor that they're giving James Gunn the option to do Man, Man, Man of Steel. And because he was originally going to put 
Superman is a villain for the Suicide Squad. Yeah. yeah. Who told so you to that me, one? Blue Angel, so Ray me, Gun, what was her name? His name? I, I would say I would love them to announce Man of Steel 2, but it's going to depend how excited I am yeah. on who the director is. If they get someone like they've talked about, J.J. Abrams or someone like that, I can be okay with saying, okay, that's fine. But if they get like a Marvel director to come in and make Happy Superman, I'm... Eh. That's gonna be yeah. That would be the one, I don't one even, thing that I'd be disappointed. I don't even care about them making happy Superman. I just don't want them making jokey Superman. I don't want like them, a James Gunn. Yeah, Superman I don't want, literally yeah. like sounds the like the Whedon one, like the worst movie. The, the, the weird thing for me is that they already have a happy Superman, right? They got Shazam. He's already a happy. That's true. It, they're yeah. fitting that quota, right, with Shazam and that uh, personality type. I don't think they do it. I. I, I <laughs> I don't think they do it. I, I, well, I, I, I'm tune also, in October 17th. I'm also more, disappointed. I think that if they do that, that's a huge mistake, and I would be very disappointed in where DC's going. Yeah. yeah. That would actually be really like, You just really bummed me out. I was I'll having a that. fun yeah. question. Yeah, and you're I, like, was, I was like so sure of my answer, and I'm like, wow, I, I really hope that doesn't happen. It's all going to depend on who yeah. they get to do it. So anyway, I hope, I wish, and I would rather prefer... Uh, you know, Zack Snyder's crap. Thank you. But Thank you. It's not going to happen. Zack Snyder's crap. <laughs> yeah. It's well, not crap. We'll see. That's right yeah. around the corner. Yeah. I'm excited. I, I feel I, like we, yeah. I feel like we've haven't, we were, we're in this like a lull, right? Where we haven't had new movies to be excited for. Yeah. Uh, uh, or we haven't seen enough of yeah. new movies. And it's like the Batman should have come out last year or this year or whatever. Yeah. And it's just been pushed back. We so we're kind of that. in this like in between time. So I'm excited to see Dude. what the new slate is and we can actually see teasers or trailers for yeah. new movies coming out so I can yeah. get excited about them. Can you imagine if the, the Batman movie did come out earlier this year? Well, it should have come out I think it was year. supposed like, to come out dude, this, like, fall. They yeah. It's October. It would have destroyed. Because yeah. it's going up against, like, nothing, nothing similar. Yeah. So it would have destroyed. Yeah. Because everyone's desperate to watch movies now, especially yeah. in person. I've watched that trailer quite a few times this last week, and it always makes me sad when it has the 21. Dude, yeah, yeah. I'm <laughs> like, oh... Could have yeah, had it in I a couple they months. That. Bummer, dude. Well, I mean, the original trailers they didn't change it, but the one we saw uh, in front of Suicide Squad, it was yeah. the updated one. It had it squiggled out. Yeah, <laughs> a little marker came Looks through. Looks good though. Yeah, I'm excited. Yep. Yeah, nice. yeah, cool. Well, yeah, that's news. That, we finally yeah. finished. Like half an news. hour later. Yep. Um, <laughs> That's good. That's good. I'm glad we talked about that stuff. That's a lot of awesome stuff coming. Yeah, a lot of stuff to look forward to. Uh, we have a what if. A new What If episode that aired last week that I think only two of us have watched, <laughs> which is fine. I've been, I, know, I you completely guys are, forgot. You guys are falling off the wagon. You last night. Hate, you guys hate What If that much? No, I just, like with soccer and stuff um, and playing, I my, mainly wanted to watch a movie last night, and so we were watching Cruella, like on Disney+. <laughs> Plus. And so when I yeah. went to Disney+, Plus, I saw on the top, it was like, What If? And I was like, oh, there's a What <laughs> If episode this week. I completely forgot, so... Um, anyways, you guys can talk about How it. many Dalmatians out of 10 for Corella? <laughs> out of 100. Out of 100. <laughs> oh, am I giving it a quick? Yeah. I give it a... Uh, out of 101 Dalmatians. Yeah, how many? Out of 101? Yes. See, now I have to check what the average <laughs> no, I'm going to say... By 10, dude. I'm going to say 30... <laughs> so 30... 37 Dalmatians. 37 so Dalmatians? 3.7 out of 100, basically? That's bad. You just gave it a 3. I didn't like it. Okay. I mean, I heard it wasn't good, so... Nice, dude. Getting in the threes. Thank you for joining me. <laughs> yeah. So. All right. We well, can discuss that next week. Yeah. If you what do you think about the what if episode? Uh, it was by far my favorite episode so far. Who did they follow this week? Um, Are we doing spoilers in this? So I need to put it in the thing if we're doing spoilers. Uh, uh, that's right, Rev, yeah. I don't know. What do you want to do? Want to do spoilers? You don't have to. Uh, we, we don't just, have to do. Just, yeah, we can just do. I mean, you guys haven't seen it yeah. anyway, so we can just. Okay. No light. spoilers. So Ooh. who is it following? Yeah, that's going to be rough. Uh, okay. So. In phase one of Marvel, there was like the one, I think it was called Fury's Big Week or something, but it was the one week where, let's see, Iron Man 2, uh, Hulk, and Thor all took place in that same Oh, week. yeah, that's yeah. right. This follows that uh, week, and it it completely changes Everything that happens, which sure. is why it's my favorite episode, because it's so different than the trajectory of the story. Right, changed. it's very, very different. Okay, um, cool. So it's during that time. Okay, so that you don't have to go into specifics. Yeah. Um, but yeah, the 
I mean, really, I think I've said it before, really the biggest thing that I was excited for for the what-if shows was how different things are going to be. And this episode, to me, really delivered on um, not expecting a lot of things that happened. Yeah, it was def- I really enjoyed it also. It's almost like a, almost like a whodunit type yeah. of episode. Yep. So you're following through, oh, what's going on? Uh, you know, very much like the Batman is going to be. It's a horror. It's a it was a horror it's a episode. Horror. <laughs> yes. It's like a detective, like trying to figure stuff out. So that was, I really enjoyed that part of it. It was really cool. Yeah. Um, I haven't watched those movies in so long. So yeah, me neither. I imagine a lot of the things that happened in the episode were similar to what the, happened in the movies, but they change a lot. Yeah. Um, but I, yeah, that was while I was watching, I was like, oh, I wonder if that's kind of like a nod back to the actual movie or whatever. Mm, probably was. Um, but yeah, it was, yeah. it was really cool. I liked, uh, and I feel like it's setting up where it's going to go in the future. Yeah. I think we'll follow this yeah. trajectory a little more. Um, at least that's kind of what I was. Yeah, I guess we'll. It remains to be seen because we also had the setup in the the last episode too. Mm-hmm. Um, so I think we'll revisit some of these mm. um, scenarios in the future. But yeah, overall, I really enjoyed it. I, I've liked every single one of the episodes. Uh, this yeah. was definitely, I think, one of the stronger ones. I think so. Uh, but I still, yeah, overall, I still continue to enjoy it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, nice. Yeah, I would definitely suggest. How many episodes are they doing? I think they're doing eight. So this was number three. It's either six or eight. Nice. Yeah, I don't know exactly. Sweet. Uh, but yeah, I should definitely suggest watching this one. It was really cool. Yeah, I'm going to catch up. I'm going to watch all of them. But nice. That's good. Yeah. Um, yeah, some of the voice acting was pretty good for not having the original actors. Um, uh, Black Widow was in the episode, and I thought that the actress did a really good job um, as the... I think other like I would like other people's rendition of Black Widow over what's her face Scarjo. Yeah, Scarjo. Yeah, I don't really like hers. Hers is very like ugh, doesn't care, you know. And I mean, she's pretty much like that in kinda, this episode. Yeah. Um, yeah, I liked it in like even though Black Widow was basically the main character, so that's good news. <laughs> wow, high praise. Oh, Black Widow was the main character. Yeah. See ya. <laughs> See ya in episode four. <laughs> Yeah, but uh, anything Ooh. else you want to say about it? No, yeah. okay. no, without spoiling it. No, yeah. all right, I'll check it out. Cool. Yeah, the No Way Home Spider-Man trailer finally dropped. The trailer that everyone was clamoring for <laughs> on the internet. Here, here's what happened. Okay, <laughs> let me just give you a play-by-play. I was on Twitter. I saw No Way Home trending. Apparently, someone leaked, leaked it. it. It was like a phone recording of a phone recording of a phone recording of someone who's working there. They didn't block out the watermark. The guy <laughs> whose video is linked to that, like his job is linked to that watermark. He's fired. Yeah, he's gone. He's gone. So <laughs> I think it was, a, wasn't it a woman? I don't know. I thought the but woman whoever, had the watermark. Whoever that person is and their Equal friend who leaked it. firing. Yeah. I like it. Whoever <laughs> is their friend, they're not friends anymore. No. Like it all yeah, went. Yeah, the fact they leaked it. Like they people had were talking re- so much about that. They had to release it super ahead of time, I'm sure. Um, good thing. I mean, they basically had it done and they're ready to go. But um, yeah. What was his name? Feige? Was yeah, not happy. No, he was chopping heads off. Although, oh god, I have a story. I have a conspiracy says, theory, guys. Uh, Do you guys want to hear my conspiracy theory? Yeah, I already know your conspiracy okay. theory. Oh, they they it's intentionally leaked it so that they could get more hype behind it. Yeah, no, yeah, I get so, it. So, um, put on your uh, tinfoil hats, everybody. It's Just time for Jonah's conspiracy hour. So, <laughs> there has been actual Marvel doesn't own all the rights to Spider Man. It's Sony. Yes. And so with the Andrew Garfield movies, they were in contact with Kevin Feige. Um, I think the director is Mark Webb. Um, but there's an Which alternate one? for the um, Amazing, Spider-Man. Amazing Spider-Man movies. Yeah. Yeah. So there's actually alternate cuts of that movie that was completely destroyed by Sony executives because they kept asking Kevin Feige what he thought. Um, at that point, Marvel didn't have any connection with Spider-Man. They kept trying to work in Spider-Man into the MCU. And Kevin Feige basically had them change a bunch of stuff. And you can see the reason people know this is because oh, this when the Sony idea. emails leaked, I remember this. they were actually people could read the correspondence between Feige and the woman who was the head of Sony at the time. And so they could look and see, oh, Kevin Feige told him to do all these things and to cut all these things. So there's a 
conspiracy that people think the reason they did this is because it made the movie worse. What he's, they were originally saying, going to do. He's saying that Ky- he basically told them to do the worst things to kind of like make it yes. a worse movie. And then they didn't get the box office. It got panned by critics. And then right after that is when Marvel came in and offered them to be like, hey, we'll give you a percentage of the stuff. We'll put them in the MCU. We recast. And that's how Disney got Spider-Man. So you can follow the emails. So for me, follow the paper trail. You can. And so for me, there's an element where I'm like, a couple years ago when Sony took away Spider-Man from D- from Disney, Disney was it angry. Away. They bought it. No, Sony owns it. So they were going to say, yeah. we're done. No, no, no. Sorry, we're not- sorry, sorry. Marvel. Sorry, I misunderstood what you're saying. Yeah, we're not saying re-upping. Sony back. said we're not re-upping with Marvel, and there was this whole thing. Yeah, yeah I remember. Um, so I think part of these... It's funny that nothing from Marvel ever leaks, but it's funny that this Spider-Man, because it's Sony, these things are happening. So I don't think Kevin Feige is that upset because I think these kind of things seem to happen with Disney because this would be really easy for them to be like, well, you know, if you if you let us handle it and we get more of a percentage, these things will never happen. So to me, it's like, eh, but I think there's that kind of the thing. play to it. In the grand scheme of things, it's a freaking trailer that they were going to release anyway. Right. It's not like they released like, oh, here's the last, the third act of the movie got leaked online right, and everybody knows what it is. Absolutely. So it's like, I feel like Kevin Feige doesn't really give a crap. Like, what, well, does, that, what, what does that prove? Like, what I'm saying is yeah. the people that are saying Kevin Feige is so angry. I'm like, ah, it just seems kind no, of, I don't think joking. he is. They're and I'm like, joking. and it does seem kind of funny that He's this happens with a Sony Marvel movie, but it never happens with any other Marvel movie. The same thing it happened with. Uh, no, there have been uh, leaks of stories and stuff like that. Like the storyline of literally Endgame and stuff like that. Yeah, I remember seeing leaks online on YouTube. Mm. I remember seeing leaks let's online go back, on Let's YouTube. go back through. Anyways. <laughs> We're going to go through every single um, Marvel movie. Tinfoil hat off. <laughs> we can now talk about the trailer. <laughs> what do you guys think? Well, I, now that I know I'll that it was like, leaked on Facebook, yeah. like, it just now completely I'm changes. <laughs> now I'm mad. So this takes place uh, seemingly right after uh, Far From Home. takes place uh, or it picks up right after Peter is outed as uh, Spider-Man. So it, it looks like him dealing with that outcome it almost it kind of reminded me of uh oh john wick um how at the end of john wick 2 people are like after him mm. um kind of the same vibes less of killing and <laughs> shooting more in the like head high, i guess more of like high school yeah, i mean not, we don't know we so don't know horror film. it could be a uh, horror film yeah <laughs> but yeah it was cool seeing dr strange uh in the trailer um it seems like he's asking him to redo a bunch of stuff seems uh, like he's an idiot yeah that, that's what Doctor I was strange say. seems very like out of character and a lot of people are speculating that that's not actually that it's mephisto strange. it's either mephisto or some other entity yeah. or character yeah that would make sense because to me i was like him. you're like really i've had a really bad week bet man they're coming after my family let's change a bunch of things and he's like don't do it and he's like, I won't. Nah, I won't do that. He winks. I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah it seems a it's little. It's either that or it's the like arrogant, cocky side of Doctor Strange coming out being like, I just. I'm the supreme sorcerer. You know, I'm the supreme yeah. sorcerer. I just did everything in Endgame. I can do it. You know, that's no big deal. I can do it. So, I I mean, I, I don't have any expectations either way. It's like yeah. whatever happens. I feel like I need to have a really good explanation for why he, do- he does it. Yes. For me, f- for it to work, yeah. to be like, oh. We're going to just, because, I mean, we're going off like a, what, a two and a half minute trailer. Right. But he's like, everyone's going to forget who you are. So that would include the Avengers. whoever's left of the Avengers, right? Mm-hmm. And all that stuff. So it seems like you would need a pretty good reason to actually change that. Like, mm-hmm. I don't think he is planning to change. Yeah. I'm stuff. assuming there will be a longer conversation in the movie about, <laughs> hey, can you make everybody forget yeah. yeah instead of just that one little bit that's just my guess yeah. but uh yeah i hope not i hope it just, <laughs> it just shows up he's <laughs> like hey you want to change it right. yep wink let's, let's go. go um but uh similar stuff has happened in the comics with uh i think it's called the one more oh, one more day one more day yeah um which is a very controversial controversial comic run that a lot of spider-man fans don't like um but some elements are cool, so 
you know, if they did it in the right way. Yeah, so in the trailer, it looks like the spell that Doctor Strange was doing went wrong and supposedly opened up the multiverse, which maybe I'm just like completely misunderstanding what the MCU is doing right now in terms of multiverse stuff, but what exactly has started the branching open of the multiverse? They have I thought it well. that I thought that Loki did it originally. And then with the what if stuff, I thought that it was kind of always there. And now with the Spider Man movie, it seems like this is them what actually opening it up. So I don't know. Am I've I just seen, like missing something or so I've seen several people talk about this. What they've said is if you watch the Loki series, he gets to a point when they're talking on the last episode where he says something's changed, right? And he says, now I don't know what's happening, right? So he he senses something is happening. Apparently, if you stop it at that exact moment and you stop WandaVision at the exact same moment, it lines up that whatever she does in the season finale um, lines up exactly with him saying that. So people are saying maybe it's multiple things that are happening. People are saying, what if it? Man, what if Doctor Strange does the spell at the exact same time that the stuff in Loki happens? Mm. So they're saying like multiple things could be happening that make the branching happen. I just think what Marvel's going to do is they're not going to explain it in a good way. It's just going to be like, yeah, all those theories, yeah, yeah, th- that's all right. Because yeah. that's what they've kind of done with other things, where they're like fan theories happen. And they're like, hey, yeah, hey, that's a, yeah, yeah, huh? That exactly was, what we that meant. That was Peter in Iron Man 2 in the Iron Man yeah, mask. Yeah, exactly. That was him, yeah. So, yeah, the, him. the WandaVision thing, I was like, what a joke. Because, like, <laughs> all they have to do is they have this moment where Wanda is like, like, has this moment of like clarity and like she, her, her demeanor like changes. And that's when she's becoming Scarlet Witch like, full-on after she's like, gets all the power from what's-her-face. And it's like, okay, all you have to do is, like, wind back that amount of time and then just offset it so it matches up with the what happened with Loki. Mm-hmm. And he's like, and now I don't know what's going on. It's like, it's so easy to make a right. fan thing like that. So I really don't take anything right. from that. But, I mean, they also could be like, okay, yeah, that sounds good. Yes, yeah. yes, she has so much power that now, yes, now I, he doesn't know what's going to happen. I like, just think... Wow, what. Okay. I think Whatever. what they did, well, the way I'm thinking about it, is him getting murdered, Kang the Conqueror, or the variant of Kang, what they said was that allows the multiple um, realities to branch off, right? That's what they've said. So to me, that means from that point, no one's keeping track of the realities. The what if stuff... I don't know if it fits because they're like, this guy's the watcher's always been watching. So I just don't know. He's probably outside of time. So there's no real beginning of him. I don't think that needs to be explained. They're just saying like, Hey, this is the guy that's the narrator for these things. Yeah. Um, I just, I don't think they're really going to explain it in a movie. They're just going to be like, yeah, there's multiple realities. Deal with it. All these characters are coming in. The only thing that I, I, I'm totally okay with multiple realities. The problem that I have is this whole traversing them. Mm-hmm. The the ability to cross over into different realities makes a lot of things either super heavier or like no weight at all. Because it's like you can go and you can travel to a different reality and they have their own problems. Right. But the main world or whatever, if they're going to do like, <laughs> like Earth 1, Earth 2, like that, like Existence 1, Existence 2, like... The, the weight of everything changes a lot. Mm-hmm. It's like, well, this Hulk matters to me, but then the other Hulk, eh, not so much. He's, he's, I don't really like him. It's like, right. it just weakens everything a bit. And so if they didn't traverse the timelines, I'd be totally fine. Yeah. And if what if existed by itself, cool. But the fact that Captain, what's her face? Not Captain America, the Captain. Captain Carter. Captain Carter could just come and be in the main MCU timeline is crazy to me. And I'm like, that's ridiculous. Well, I think there's, yeah, I, I agree with you. And also it, so the trailer, like even if we're talking about the trailer, um, there's end up like Doc Ock shows up and you yeah, see Green right. Goblin's uh, pumpkin. From the bomb. Ramiverse. Um, mm-hmm. And Sandman apparently was in it. Um, yeah, Electro. And Electro. So to me, what makes it confusing though 
is I'm like, are you going to explain it well? Because to me, Doc Ock comes in, right? And he's like, hello, Peter, right? But I'm like, obviously, this is not the Doc Ock that dies at the end of Spider-Man 2, because in that one, he basically sacrifices himself, right? Because he sees he's become right. a monster. Well, okay, so Alfred Molina, who plays Doc Ock, yeah. he, he actually... Spoiled it a little spoiled bit. Spoiled it a little bit, where he said that it is the same Doc Ock from the Raimi universe, and he's pulled out, like, right at that scene where he's why else where would you use drowning. the same actor? Right. Why else would you use the same yeah. The thing that I'm... So that only makes The thing sense that I'm assuming that. is what they'll maybe do is just say that the arms take over again because in the in Spider-Man 2 right they're the ones that are they're corrupting him basically right is the faulty and chip so I think it's always him fighting back and forth and in the trailer you see the arm it's like the red lights and that was always right in, in Spider-Man 2 yeah. when they were in control so to it'll me, probably be something like that um to me it's just hard though because I'm like how is this going to... So I assume Willem Dafoe's back because he's also said, I can't talk about this. Willem Dafoe's back. His It's the same pumpkin bomb. You can hear his laugh. Right. So to me, it's um, like... So the Tobey Maguire universe, you pulled Doc Ock right before, but by that time, Green Goblin's been dead for several years because well, it was in, before. So in the terms, in in the terms of time, time it doesn't zones. matter. It doesn't matter. Yeah. That's the problem, Jonah. Yeah. That's a problem. See... the. They can just do whatever they want. Yeah. That's the problem that yeah. I have. I just think with. if you're pulling characters from a they certain time. They have to be from the time, same time. No, what I'm just saying like. <laughs> well, no, I get it. Like, I'm just oh, saying like. It's a portal from a certain time yes. and they grab people from there. But there's multiple yeah, but it's a different portals time in different time but, zones. Yeah. Time so zones, I'm, this lines. is what I'm telling you. This is what I mean. <laughs> so PTS. into the Spider-Verse, yeah. right? That opens up a thing and the characters get pulled in. Then if you're able to pull in Doc Ock. Before he dies. Prime Doc Ock. And then at the same universe, but at a different time, Green Goblin, before he dies. Yes, a couple years ago. Then there yeah. should be two Andrew Garfields and two Tobey Maguires. Because if you can pull out from different times the villains, the Spider-Men no. should be... Com- yeah. No. I'll just be like, I want no, to pick just this one guy. St- because then, then you can, because then you can pull the. You're thinking it as a sinkhole. Pull the that Peter they're all grouped from, together and they all fall yeah. in the hole and they're grouped well, together. I, I want to see how it's they're done. Individual. Because if it's just like randomly brought these people conveniently before they died, yeah. Then I think that's exactly what if it's, it's like <laughs> they're choosing what they want. Yeah, what I'm saying is no, no, Then that means to be completely what random. I, what I'm saying <laughs> has to be. Can you imagine? But what I'm saying is, what I'm saying is, if that works, where you're pulling multiple guys from different things, then that means in this. The Spider-Man that's fighting Doc Ock and the Spider-Man that's fighting the Green Goblin. They are without bad guys currently. But they yes. could potentially be pulled in if there's different times. Eh. Those two Spider-Mans coming into this one place. So you'd have two Spider-Mans. I mean, theoretically, but that's not the movie they're writing. I know. But what I'm saying is. What I'm, say- what I'm saying. Explain what I'm it a saying, certain way. I'm just saying. I'm like, saying. It's convenient. <laughs> <laughs> it's a movie. Jonah, of course it's I'm convenient. Jonah, that, that's not like. Are some... we supposed to have a discussion on the <laughs> but, trailer? But Jonah, I'm not. <laughs> what you're saying is. All right. What it's your point really is, convenient <laughs> that this is working out perfectly for I your movie. I think it'll be like. So how they no, did no, it. Think of it differently like this. Like Star Trek. Beam me up, Scotty. They're beaming <laughs> one guy up. They're not beaming up every main Everybody character up, from yeah. an existence. Or like, like a timeline. Or like in, beam me up, Scotty. Think about hey, that. I'm just saying, guys. I'm in saying. Enter the Spider Verse, when they literally did this, it was one person pulled oh. right each time. Right, I think Jeff. it'll be. I think it's gonna like be that. fine. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. I, I'm excited I just, for the movie. You know I just I thought about it. I think, I think it's going to work out just fine, guys. <laughs> I just don't understand this. Yeah. It's real convenient. No, of course I'm it never, is. I'm not it's saying it's convenient. I never said it was real convenient. I'm not complaining. I'm just saying, like, I want to know how it's working. Because technically, if you're polling characters. Not, no, you're making these rules up. Like for you, Everyone these are makes your rules. These rules up. They made exactly. the rules. They made yeah. up their rules, and I'm just saying, and they're probably going to change them. Think about there's a potential you can pull to. Sure, if, to yeah, Andrew if, that, if, that's if that's what they, they wanted, wanted to do, that's they okay. could pull into Andrew saying. Garfield. Yeah. and they would look at each other, like, bru- like prove some like. No, I'm not saying that. I'm just like, wondering because I'm. That's what I'm saying. Like the way I'm thinking about it is like you're pulling multiple villains that are alive on different 
time frames. Yes. And they're working. So that to me just makes me feel like how does it work yeah. as far as like a character, like Here, a Spider Man that's still alive? Let's take exactly what you're saying a step further. If I was in a really sticky situation and I can traverse the multiverse, guess what? I'm just going to go pick. Iron Man from 10 minutes ago and 20 minutes ago and 30 minutes. And I have an infinite army of Iron Mans that I can destroy anything with. But see, I don't think you know the I mean? way you're like, saying it is that they're it's a different someone's time. picking. I don't think what they make it look like, like however many from the trailer, there are, what they're making it look like from the trailer is that whatever Doctor Strange does causes this to happen. So it's at a random like, right. it's not that Dr. Yeah, Strange so takes you, 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 you. It's yeah. just a random. And so with the aspect of different times being there, or I'm just Mephisto wondering how it works. Right. Yeah, you, yeah. It does Mephisto. look like random, but I would I would think that there's it's a not. There's a reason right. someone else is doing it, and they're picking these people. So that's also, what I'm also saying. the writer is picking that, these people. That's what I'm kind of saying. Like, I'm curious to see how they explain it. Because that, to me, like Corey says, yeah, it's kind of a hard concept to deal with. Um, well, it's just whereas it's very like, open ended. Whereas, <laughs> I think that's like, the problem. With whereas, it. like, if we if we compare it to um, DC does, like, Flash goes back in time, and there's different worlds and stuff like that. It's pretty well determined, the, like rules with DC. Right. That's so, what I for like example, about DC's time if travel. if Zack Snyder f- continued his thing, it would be Batman going back in time to then be able to sacrifice himself, so that that timeline can continue without Darkseid and Superman dying and Lois dying. So there's that one character making a sacrifice to go back, and it's the same character. Dude. But right? you're dealing with what one I'm multiverse, saying, like right. one verse. That's what I'm saying. Not multi, I'm universe. Just, I'm just saying. Universe. This, That's how they made it. This has more of working things components with it, so I'm just yeah. curious to see how they explain it. Mm-hmm. I'm curious, That's what too. I'm saying. I think that... I think Dude, it's way more complicated with Marvel. The way they did it, they made it so convol- but they convoluted. Made it, but in Into the Spider-Verse, it's super... Easy. Hey, we brought in these different Spider-Man right. from different And they have to go universes. back. But yeah, they, they're not it. there anymore. That's it. They're here. And right. there's right. no other version of them. That's it. Right. And yeah. that, I think that's it'll be the same in this case. But it's a. I think it'll be different because of how Marvel's set up with Loki, what's happening. Dude, we're going to get it. You know like, what I'm saying? <laughs> like, hey. the Spider-Verse is just kind of like, people came in. Uh, yeah. This one is like, everyone has like thousands of variants. Right? So now that's added to it. Like, there's... A thousand Lokis. There's even an alligator Loki. Like what like Corey's saying, they've kind of the complicated is, it. And they're this. not no, no, I don't no, think no, they're no, gonna they explain have, it because in those a are the good variants. Way. All the Spider Men are the variants. Doctor Doc Ock is getting pulled in. We haven't seen the Doc Ock from this universe, the MCU. The problem is is that time, we're not considering time. We're thinking about multiverses only. They've also introduced time travel, yes. which is even more complicated. So like if we have into the spider verse right and we get the porky the pig whatever spider pig right yeah and that's from a week ago could you go back in time and go grab two weeks ago porky the pig or is he gone from that multiverse once you nab him is he gone from history like this is super complicated this is why i don't like time travel and multiverse travel because it's so ultra complicated this how do you make sense of it you just have to lay down and say okay yeah it's not going to be explained correctly i don't think that's the only thing that bugs me, Josh. That's the only thing that hey, bugs me. Is it's super complicated. Sit down, enjoy the ride, bro. That's what I'm saying. Hook me up to an IV that's, and hey, just make uh, that's me think fine. what I want. I'm totally fine with that. But you know how people have gotten upset with us after we come out of movies and we analyze it. Like, you know, um, I can't remember. Um, I know what you're talking about. Um, but he was like, I'm never going to watch a movie with these guys again. Even though we enjoyed the movie, but we were like, this didn't make sense and this didn't make sense. <laughs> that to me is like, that's how I go in when I've finished watching a movie. I'm like, yeah, but they never really explained that. And I just feel that's going to happen <laughs> with this. Yeah, I think so, too. I mean, and you won't know until you watch it. So, yeah. Yeah. So what's the point? Because we're discussing the trailer. <laughs> yeah. I will say we're this. Not, we haven't even you talked turn. about the trailer at all. You, you, know when I, yes, we have. you know when I brought up the whole thing like, guys, we don't do anything that's nerdy. This is nerdy. <laughs> right here, the conversations we're having in this moment is the most nerdy stuff we yeah, do. Yeah, so why are you guys and I'm proud of it. I'm not hating. I'm absolutely I'm just saying, Jonah, I'm Thank shaking you. your I'm just hand. Saying, I'm just saying, like, I think it'll be fine how they how okay. they do it. Was there anything else from the trailer yeah, um, that you guys... He did or the what soul was your, suck. Or what was your <laughs> feel? Soul what was the soul push. push? Yeah. Or what was your Seems feel? Seems overpowered, I will like, say. Of the trailer. Uh, like, there was so much hype for the trailer... I was a bit disappointed with it. And and before I no, say that... I think it was cool because they had the whole callback to the old school bosses, bad guys. Well, I thought that was cool. But here's the, here's the thing for me. And I know you guys are saying 
your chups uh leg okay. fell asleep oh, or he's having a cramp. Oh, cramp. Oh, yeah, yeah. Stretch it out, stretch it out. Um <laughs> so you still have that banana? Oh, I ate it. <laughs> it should have been yours. Dude, just walk around, dude. I know there's Josh is gonna get mad at me because this is stupid, right? No, he can't say anything. Oh, yep. shoot, he came back. I was hoping <laughs> for a little tease, a little glimpse Zach of either Andrew Garfield, <laughs> of either Andrew Garfield or Tobey Maguire. They're no, saving. I, it. They're yes, saving. I know. It. Yeah. But here's the thing. And hey, I know you want to say something. <laughs> Stretch out your quad first. I think you can put your headset down. It's fine. <laughs> Walk around. No, I gotta. I gotta listen. Um, <laughs> you can hear I him. Can't hear him. He's here. I feel like. <laughs> Because we already, every, it's the worst kept secret okay. that Tobey Maguire's in it yeah. and that Andrew Garfield's in it. Yeah. To me, it was like, just give me a little tease, the back of Why? somebody. Because I wanted, I was hyping it up. Movie. I was hyping it up. That's fine. But well, to honestly, me, the I, fact that it leaks so early is probably teaser enough. Like, they're like, well, uh, why do we even do that? Well, so to me, so you're gonna, yeah, the, uh, the Alfred I, Molina thing was cool. But to me, I left with it like, eh, like, it wasn't as good as I hyped it up to be. I, I mean, there was a sense? lot of hype for this trailer. The fact that we're like, what, less than four months away from the movie. That's yeah. pretty rare, especially with a Spider-Man movie or a comic book movie. You normally get a trailer a little bit earlier than that. Yeah. I, don't, um, yeah. I don't think it's a failure. I think it's a, I it's I think a, it's a missed I just opportunity. Think. And I think you're right. It would have been super epic if it's like, yo, you got two feet. that you're like You're looking at the back feet of like, the main Spider-Man, yeah. and then and you who see is that? another set next yes. to him or something. You see a guy, Super something hyped. like that. You see yes. a guy At in a black suit dancing down yeah. the street. Yeah. Oh, that I know who epic. that is. I want, I, that's, no. He's like pointing at people Dude, doing a guns. shot is yeah. exactly right what I wanted. Or like one Spider-Man going through the building, and then, and then another one web. comes through the other side, like just quick, and you're and like, they oh. And they run into each other? Yeah, they're no, like, but they like, fall down, and then they set Something up like, like that. Well, who are you? See, that would have been in the and Suicide then Squad. The Spider-Man Spider-Man meme. Meme. <laughs> <laughs> See, they better do that in the movie, like that, make will. that meme. I, they will. No, but 100%. that's what I'm saying. So let me compare <laughs> it. in front of a truck. Let me like, compare what? it with... The Flash trailer. When that first Flash trailer comes out, we already know that Michael Keaton's in it, and we already know that Ben Affleck is in it. So I want to see them a shot, the last shot of that trailer to be either the, the back of Michael Keaton thing or his chest or something that makes you be like, oh my gosh, like it's real because we already know what's coming. This is the same thing. We already knew Tobey Maguire and Andrew Garfield were coming, but give me a quick thing to just be like, oh my gosh, it's actually coming. I mean, that's going to be cool. I think that the Teeth. fact that those villains from those Spider Man movies is like, for me, it's like already that's, hype. Mm. Well, that's like yeah. indication enough that they are going to be in the movie. I just think that mm. they're saving the like big reveal of. Toby McGuire and Andrew Garfield. The difference between those two movies is that they've announced them as cast for the Flash movie. They've said we've cast Ben Affleck and that we've cast true. Michael Keaton. They haven't announced Toby Maguire or anyone else. The only reason we know about Doc Ock is because the actor was like, yeah, I'm in the movie. <laughs> and so that's the only reason we got Doc Ock in this trailer is because they're like, yeah, he already spoiled it. Yeah. That's the only reason they're putting him in there. Would it have been cool? Yes, but I would rather sit down in the movie theater and see a cool introduction of how he first sees Tobey Maguire's I, Spider-Man yeah. or Andrew Garfield's Spider-Man than just have like it ruined the in the trailer. Time I think this movie. is the I difference. Ha- I hate it when they ruin it in this trailer, especially in big moments. This, the difference is, is versus like Wonder Woman movie experience versus <laughs> saleability. Like the way Jonah's putting it out there it will sell better mm-hmm. every the way you're it's saying it's it, not it doesn't matter it's the point. money it doesn't matter the it's way a spider-man it doesn't matter it's a spider-man well, it's movie. A marvel mcu yeah, movie it doesn't matter no. it's going to sell it, uh, it doesn't I'm matter i'm not to me. saying it won't sell i'm saying it's we're not a little saying bit that better of a sale there's, that's all there's a difference so there's a difference between let's go to um a trailer if you there. if you watch a trailer like Up at a comic con or something like that right where you one of my favorite things to watch is when you watch like one of those big trailers that they do at a comic con or something like that, and where the guys crying, where where the whole audience yeah. like stands up, screams, claps, all this stuff. Like Star Wars trailers have done it really well when Luke showed up. I mean, all this stuff like that. Like, there's a difference between an a money shot that like that's the shot that you want a trailer to have. Alfred Molina saying hi, Peter. Hey, Banner. Wasn't wasn't the thing that I was like, 
Yes, yeah. and started clapping. But a shot like that where you see, even if it's just a two feet or another Spider-Man show up, you don't know who it is. But that to me was like the money shot where you just watch that scene over and over again, like 30 times. That I think would be would have been better for me because, yes, even though you said they haven't announced them, it's been the worst kept secret. Everyone's talked about how Andrew Garfield's back, how Tobey Maguire's back. So putting that money shot, hero shot in there. And it doesn't have to be the exact shot that introduces them, but just something. Marvel's done an awesome job. They do this all the time where they edit, they put characters in there for trailers that aren't there in the He's movies. He's praising them. They've done that Whoa. all the time. Alert. So Alert. what I'm saying well, maybe is wham, that wham, isn't wham. Doc Ock in the end, and in the movie it's going to be Tobey Maguire well, what as they're Doc saying, Ock. What they're saying is, <laughs> one of the things they're saying is um, Tom Holland's character yeah. is wearing the same clothes that Tobey Maguire's character is wearing in Spider-Man Three, three. Mm. So they're like, the maybe they, one. maybe they deep faked his face, and that's actually Tobey Maguire, which is fine. Whatever, if Marvel's doing that. But I just think they can do. They could have done a shot at the they end, just shoot it twice, but. that would have gotten me more hyped than what they did. I was kind of like, mm. eh. okay. So for you, it's just less exciting than you thought. I wanted be. that okay. final shot to be yeah. like, like Not the money shot. On this, yeah, that's cool. <laughs> For me, the yeah. the Alpha Molina and the Green Goblin, the Pumpkin Bomb, that for me was like good the money shot of the trailer. Yeah, okay. And the fact that we're so close to the movie release, I don't I I don't feel like I need to see Tobey Maguire or Andrew Garfield in in a trailer. Yeah. For me, oh go ahead. No, go for it. I was just gonna say for me, like like I have kind of like spidey senses for epic stuff like that. You know, I get goosebumps at moments like that. Didn't get them for Doc Ock. Just visualizing what we were talking about, that gave me goosebumps. Mm -hmm. And so my spidey senses are saying, for me personally, that would be a lot more epic. And that's fun. But you're right. I think for the moment in the movie, I think it'll be more epic for that experience. I I have like a... But just talking trailers generally. And I think this was a cool way for them to like give the fans something that's like, oh my gosh, moment without like giving away everything. You know what I mean? So they can save the like Tobey Maguire, Andrew Garfield stuff for the movie and still give the fans the, you know, Will, Willem Dafoe and Alfred Molina mm-hmm. stuff for the trailer. I think I would have rather seen Green Goblin instead of Doc Yeah, me Hawk. too. Yeah. Me I think too, that would have been cooler if yeah. we see Green Goblin come in on his glider. Mm. Um, I thought that would have been cooler. I have a... Also, I like trailers and I, I do like that feeling you're describing, like they show something, but I also hate trailers because... Then I'm set. I'm set up with this image in my head of like, oh, the, and now I know this is the money shot. You know what I mean? I'd rather experience that in yeah, in but theaters. You're, you're kind of already playing that game. You're kind of already yeah. ruining that by even paying attention and being on this. Podcast. No, yeah, no, exactly. No, you know that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. It's like a, it's like a, lo- sword. it's a double edged sword. Because oh, okay. it's like I and I like watching trailers, but then I'm like, ah, yeah. dang it, I wish they would have shown me that in the trailer. Gotcha. So, I'll. Last so you you would really prefer trailers just to be very loose and very, like uh, like not revealing anything. We do need to start wrapping up pretty soon. Okay, sorry. Yeah. All right, who's your favorite spider? <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh, <laughs> for me, I don't mind. Conversation right I know here. that there's like trailers share too much, <clears throat> but for me, even if it's it's a two minute trailer out of <laughs> 170 minutes, 130 minutes, whatever it is, to me, I want to get hyped up by a trailer. So. The Last Jedi trailer, when Luke says it, show, it reveals Luke right, and he's like, "It's time for the for the Jedi to end," right? Mm-hmm. And then it's like the Last Jedi and all that stuff. Like that was epic. Like that's yeah, the I thing agree. that you rewatch that, rewatch that, rewatch that. To me, it's like you don't. There's gonna be forty five to fifty minutes of Tobey Maguire's Batman. Batman. <laughs> what? <laughs> Whoa. Mega Spider-Man. Multiverse. You know, like, they're, the moment where they're going to reveal, like, the three fighting together, I think that's going to be the money shot that shouldn't be spoiled. But I think you could have had teases throughout of, like, what Spider-Man is that? Is that Tobey Maguire's Spider-Man? Is that Andrew Garfield's? What's going on here? Because I think there's a way to do that where you don't show a lot, but even just a little glimpse yeah. would have been, like... Oh my gosh, like that's what would have got me excited because I'm more excited about the Spider Man than I am about seeing the villains come back, Spider-Man. which I already know they're going to get, de- <laughs> they're already going to get defeated anyways. Yeah, yeah.
So uh, do you think they'll do you think they'll release another trailer yes. a month or two before and then you're gonna get your Sp- Spider Man reveal? I think so. Yeah, well um we were gonna have a longer discussion about uh, favorite Spider Man actors. We're gonna have to shelve that for probably next week. Yeah. Uh, we're out of time today, cool. Well yeah, uh, thanks for listening guys. Follow us on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. Everywhere. Uh, Nerd Age. That's right. So yeah. Thanks for hanging out. See you later. Bye. See ya.